I'm Alessandra with Revzilla and welcome to the best women's motorcycle gear for 2019. Women who ride, whether they're experienced riders or new to two wheels, typically want the same thing that men want in gear. Things like protection, comfort, function, or even style. But for years I've seen women compromise in those categories due to a simple lack of options or being forced into a certain fit or style. Today though, we're gonna walk through two distinct collections for the beginner and experienced rider that really show how the industry is changing and providing more options for women. With more options though, come more decisions, and we're hoping that with a little guidance today, we'll be able to help you make the right gear choice for you. Our first rider is a beginner and on a Honda Rebel 250. If that's you, you're probably either new to riding or you've been riding for a little while around town. You're probably also a little overwhelmed with all the options out there and the things to consider when you first get onto two wheels. When it comes to gear, you want things like protection, but you also want to be comfortable because armor can feel a little cumbersome and is also a foreign thing that you're now incorporating into your routine. After all, at the end of the day, you really just want to focus on your ride and not on your gear. So first up, let's talk about jackets. This is the Speedy Summer Net Mesh Jacket, and we chose it because the mesh chassis flows a ton of air, but it also has a great fit, super comfortable, and has protection baked in. So what makes a jacket super comfortable for women? It's going to be the fit and the amount of adjustability. So you'll see that this princess cut means that it has an hourglass shape that is really flattering to women. But what's also nice is that you get a lot of room in the bust and you're getting true waist adjusters at the natural waist as well as hip gussets along the hips. Those two things are going to make this jacket really flattering for a lot of different body types. Again, so you can focus more on the ride and practicing how to be a better rider than on your gear and how it fits. Next up, let's talk pants. These are the Oxford Super Leggings, and we chose them not only because leggings have become a staple in most wardrobes, but because they're super comfortable and have a lot of protection baked in, especially for a $120 pant. Now, they're 8% elastane, and that's not something that you see at all in the moto industry, not in jeans, and until now, not in leggings either. But what's really nice about these is the peace of mind that you get from the protection. They have a full Kevlar lining throughout the entire legging, which is really great, but also come with CE level two armor at the knees. So that's something that's not only gonna make these a great staple because you like leggings, but something that you feel comfortable in for everyday riding for seasons and years to come. Now let's get into the TCX Blend WP boots. Boots are something that people typically skimp on because you might have an everyday boot that looks great for riding, but doesn't have moto specific capabilities. But what you should know is that that's a myth. Bikes are heavy and there are a lot of elements that come off the road and you should really be protecting your feet from those things. These boots, the blends in particular, look like an everyday boot, but they give you internal ankle cups and reinforced heel and toe protection that is gonna protect you from those elements. Now, speaking of elements, they're also waterproof. And waterproofing is great because it makes them a great boot regardless of the season. So something that you can definitely wear regardless of style so that you can really be confident on your ride. So those are the beginner picks that we wanted to highlight for you today. Hopefully we helped you know what to look for, things like protection, comfort, and style, and help you make the right gear decision for you as you start your gear journey. Our next rider is on an FJ09 and is an experienced tourer. If that's you, you probably do a lot of commuting, long touring, and riding in general. You spend a lot of time in the saddle and you've probably added some conveniences to your bike to make it a little bit more modular and built for the long haul. You want that in your gear too, something that's technical, adaptive, and built to last. So today we're gonna look at a few products that do exactly that. First up, we're gonna talk about the Shoei RF 1200 helmet. So helmets are undoubtedly an important part of getting geared up, but this one is special because it's a former CLA award winner, and it's also pretty much set the gold standard for the motor industry when it comes to helmets. Why? Because it's the great everything helmet. You can take it to the track because of its snail certification. You can do a lot of touring in it because of its pinlock ready shield and included pinlock insert. And also the shape and design makes it really friendly for any universal Bluetooth system that you wanna add. 
But the reason that we chose it for women really comes down to the fit. It has six sizes, but across four shells. And two of those shells lie in the extra small to medium category where most women lie. Now, why are shells important? More shells are gonna mean a more proportional fit to your head. So when you're at speed or you're doing a lot of touring, that's gonna help reduce buffeting so that there's less strain on you. So again, something that's really gonna support you in your long rides so that you can focus more on what you're doing and less on how your gear fits. So next up is the Alpine Stars Stella Andes Pro Dry Star Jacket for Tech Air Street. Now, the Andes Pro jacket is by far the most technical option that we have for women. In fact, it is the first jacket to incorporate the Tech Airbag system for women in the US at the moment. Thank you, Alpine Stars. But what sets this jacket apart isn't just the fact that it's Tech Air compatible, it's also that the jacket itself is extremely modular. It's designed for four season touring, it has direct vents, waterproofing, and a thermal liner. But the main construction also, which is 600D, is gonna incorporate this ripstop nylon and laminate in the impact areas. So knowing that the airbag system is $1,100 and sold separately, it really gives you a nice peace of mind and vote of confidence to know that the jacket on its own is really going to get the job done. Finally, let's talk about the Daytona Lady Pilot Gore-Tex boots. Now, Daytona's really made a name for themselves when it comes to technical touring, and that's because they really go above and beyond when it comes to quality details. So right off the bat, these boots are going to be leather and Gore-Tex. That's not something that you really see anymore in the touring world. We really like leather because it's breathable and it breaks in well over time, but the Gore-Tex piece really lets you know that it's quality because it has a lifetime warranty. Another little detail about these boots that's really great is that they have a two and a half inch heel lift. Now that's the highest that we've seen as far as touring boots go right now. And whether you're short or tall, that additional lift is not only gonna give you more leverage on and off the bike, but it's also gonna give you a little bit more comfort. It can help with back pain, especially if you're doing a lot of walking wherever you're going. Now, last but not least, the kind of piece de resistance with these boots is gonna be the protection. They're CE level two rated, which is the highest safety certification that you can get for boots. So again, really giving you that peace of mind and supporting you wherever you're going when you're riding. Now, those are the highlights that we have for our beginner and experienced riders. Hopefully, we gave you a little bit more information on what to look for, things like comfort, protection, and of course, style, so that you can make the right gear decision for you. If you want to learn more about any of the selections made in our 2019 Gear Guide series, head over to RevZilla.com for more videos, articles, and our expert opinion on everything two wheels. Thanks for taking a look at the best women's motorcycle gear for 2019. I'm Alessandra. I'll see you on the road.